All right, guys, welcome back to, what is this, week nine, episode two, and I am back to recording the day before. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what we're making. So this, out of my little paper punch, but you could totally make it out of square. It looks boring now, right? But look. Ah, it's a secret messaging spot. And this was inspired um, by both Gail and um, Shell at a Rambling Crafter. So yeah, isn't that adorable? So uh, we are going to make that today. I don't know if we'll get it done in 15 minutes, but you guys are usually pretty, pretty gracious to me on the whole 15 minute thing. So let's get started and I am going to kind of just streamline it. Um, so what we're going to need is, um, you could make these square, you could make them round, like if you only have a round punch, you can totally do a round punch. Uh, mine are just going to be this shape. So yeah, let's just, let's just do it. So I hope you guys are all well, and welcome back subscribers, and welcome to new subscribers. So you're going to need three kind of coordinating, maybe. Um, I say maybe, but really it should be coordinating. I'm not being like overly picky on, on it. And the reason I say coordinating a little bit is because since we're using three pieces, the inside piece is the piece that we'll need um, to kind of coordinate. So like, so the inside of this one is going to be green. So I'm going to go ahead and take a green one here. Okay. So we'll set that aside. So these three go together. Let's see, we need one more set of three. So let's see. Um, this one's pretty, huh? Let's make one that's like this. Oh, all right. I got to pause you a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Um, so, yep, yeah, I actually managed not to like keep talking on the phone and doing this so but now I'm kind of lost in what time we started so yeah we're just going to <laughs> fake it till we make it I guess all right so I got those cut right so we can get rid of the punch okay now what we need to do and I you know what I can give you like the finished dimensions here it is about two inch by two and a half ballparking, right? Yeah, a little over two and a half. So um, I don't, let me show you, this is what that punch looks like. Um, and I got that as a birthday present. It's Paper Studios, so it's from Hobby Lobby. Um, so yeah, all right, let's see. This inside piece measures, um, about one and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut three of those. Um, yeah, so at any rate, I hope you all are doing well. Um, life just continues to be crazy here. So, you know, um, I finally did get those journals and stuff listed. Did I, that one's off a little bit. So which one's off? So it's that one. So I'll get rid of that. I'll just cut another one. You guys probably saw it too, huh? Now I am going to do it my way, but I think Shell does it a little bit differently. I had to go back and watch her video a few times. Um, but this is what works for me. So we're going to take, I want these, this to be the outside. So that'll be there. And then this will be the front. So I'm going to take my paper clip and nope, this way. Okay. On the back side there. Okay. So then, so it'll look like that. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to take my fine liner glue and go right to the edge because I don't want anything sticking apart. So this is kind of like a modification, I think, of what Shell did, because I don't think that she made it into a paper clip. Honestly, I can't remember right now. Okay, so then put that on there. And this side doesn't really matter if it has glue on it, but. 
the other side might matter a little bit, but the inside piece isn't going to matter. Okay, and just smoosh it down. Okay, turn it over. Looking good. So my paper clip is crooked. Just straighten that out a little bit. Okay, now with my top piece, I'm only, I'm going to leave this. Oh, no. Okay, scratch that. All right, I need to go back and I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna scratch that one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cut a couple more. Oh, see, it happens. It happens, it happens, guys. Um, I'll, I can still use that, just not for this. So, right, we wanted some packages anyways, right? So let me cut three of these. I think I cut that one up too high. I did. Okay. Now, before we do any gluing or paper clipping, and I think I'm going to do this to all of them. Make sure I have kind of the idea, the way I want them. Okay, now you got to bring in your cutter again. And we're going to cut off a little bit here. And I'm going to cut about a half inch off the end. Okay. I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can. But that's why I'm cutting them all three at one time. So that they all are pretty even. And then... Then it becomes a nightmare for a second because I got to figure out which one went to which one so it matches up. Okay, so that one is not the top piece. Yes, it is. Okay. So and then it would almost make more sense just to use one. So that one goes with this one. Okay. This one goes with this one. And then this one goes with this one. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Okay. And I'm going to make sure my lettering, if you're using lettering, make sure that it's right side up. Okay when you do that. <clears throat> okay, they're all lined up. I'm going to go to the two mark, hold it and cut it. And this one will be easier because I already know this is the middle piece here that goes to that one. And then it's easier to match up that one to this one. And then this one to this one. Because we won't end up using the middle one, I don't think. All right, just go with me. Just follow the follow the um, my hand movements, not not my words. Okay, if that makes any sense. that that's cut I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way okay so we know this piece goes with that one this one goes with this one and this one goes with this one okay so we'll just start with this one okay so I'm gonna go this way this is my middle okay so again I'm gonna take my paper clip and I'm gonna have to get a new one here another one. I promise these are easier, easier than they look. I'm 
And I think that other one's still salvageable as a paper clip. I'm just gonna have to be careful when I cut it. So I'll wait till the glue dries. Okay, so that one is completely glued together, the bottom layers. So it was the bottom piece, the middle piece. I'm gonna make sure that's all lined up really well. And solid colors might work for this better too, not really for sure. Okay, now this top piece, <clears throat> I'm gonna line it just at the very edges, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do all three gluing in this manner first so that um, since we have a time limit, Just kind of smush it out there, lining it up as best as you can. Okay, I set that one aside. Oh, let's put those over that. Okay, so again, I'm going to take my bottom two pieces, put on my paper clip, and I usually do big side out, you know, because there's like a little like an inside piece and outside piece. So the outside piece is what I want clipped to the page. And that is not the one I want that on. It's this one. Because I want the writing on the outside, okay? Okay, so again, I'm gonna take this and go as far to the edge as I can on all four sides and including the paper clip and the middle. Okay, put those together. Okay. as clean as you can get it. Oh, hold on. I had a little bit of glue on my finger. Make sure that's not going to get glued together. Oh, <laughs> I'm a mess today. Uh, maybe you guys shouldn't be taking, um, advice for me today. It appears that I'm just kind of fumbling around here. Okay, move those two up. Three, I should say. Okay, so now we're done to this one. I guess the end pieces didn't matter so much. I mean, they will matter, obviously, but they're not going to matter so much right now. Okay, so I want the green package on the front. This one can go on the back. This one can be the middle, okay? Okay, and then we're going to line this one just on the edges. And I cut mine at like a quarter of an inch, but you probably could get away with doing just a tad bigger. Or inch and a quarter, I should say, is what I did. Oh, 
All right, now let's go back here. And this is where it kind of varies from um, what Shell did and I think what um, Gail has done in the past as far as the execution of it. Okay, so see, I just slipped mine all the way down in there. And then I just found my top piece and gotta find the bottom piece so we're not struggling with it later. Okay, so there's my bottom piece. Okay, now I put glue all over here <clears throat> and I put it on my paper and just lined it up like that. Okay. okay, then I flipped it over and then I'm gonna line this one as well. And then I kind of slipped it out of here like this. Make sure we we're really lined up. Okay, wiped away all my excess glue. And then I just took my little scissors here. And voila, cute, right? Then I think the decorating part of these, like when we get to that point, which should be like in two weeks, I think. And I can tell here I'm off just a little bit, but it, um, on my lining up pieces here, but I think it kind of enhances it a little bit. I'm not actually too worried about it. It doesn't bother me. Kind of just adds a little bit of cuteness to it. That's why I was saying at the beginning, like use coordinating colors in case you get off just a little bit. But I think I'm gonna put words on these like Merry Christmas or something like that, like with the cloth. I don't know, we'll see when we get there. How about that? Okay, so let's do the same for this one. Oh, guys, I can't tell you how excited I'm getting for Christmas. Christmas is, is my jam. I really like Christmas. down a little bit, kind of pull it out now. Really smush it down. Get any of your excess glue out. Oh, so cute. Okay. And I think after the video, I'll just pull these apart um, just to make sure they're not sticking together and let them dry like for a couple hours. Oh, so stinking cute. These extra pieces, I don't know. We should probably keep those because I bet you we could use those as tabs somewhere. See, what else do we got? Oh, wait, oh, <laughs> no, that one's done. Oh, <laughs> yes, guys, I'm really, I'm okay. I'm all right, I promise. 
just getting a little sidetracked, I think. My brain's going about a million miles an hour because the next paper clip's going to be pretty cool too, I think. Okay, so we need a little candy piece. It's right there. Oh, the dogs are into something. You always tell they're up to no good when you start hearing stuff. All right. Oh, we're not lining up quite right. So I have a fix for that. If you're not lining up quite right, then just take a little bit off your, your end here. And how do you know that, Dee Dee? I know that because this is not the first one I showed you is not the first prototype. <laughs> All right. How stinking cute is that? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me do a little bit of inking up here and then I will show you all the ones that we did today. Oh my goodness. I love these. Okay, let me clap, 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 and then cap my glue off here. All right, so this is one, two, almost three, three, and four. Perfect. All right, guys, thank you for hanging with me, um, and we will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.